Unity in diversity, that's the motto that guides the European Union and it's a motto that's being sorely tested now as the yawning gap between German and Greek perspectives on club membership becomes clearer, with 19 nation states now arguing their exasperated points of view. Help us out, says Athens. Play by our rules, says Berlin. Much to think about on a Sunday morning. I believe to the God and I say, OK, everything uh, uh, he decides for our country. We are not beggars. We will make it. We lost our uh, value as mother, as woman. As... I, I can't <laughs> speak in English now because I'm very sad and... Uh, uh, I hope we will manage everything. This is uh, Falero Beach, just another privatisation project that's been dead in the water for years. You know, Greece now owes way over 300 billion euros, the second highest national debt in the world. Simply servicing that debt means recovery is almost impossible, let alone tax hikes, pension reform, defence cuts and all the rest of it. Now, no one in Europe's going to forgive that debt, but there might, just might, be a little wiggle room. Debt sustainability is the new buzzword doing the rounds, and that might be Greece's latest gamble. I would like um, Greece to default. Absolutely. I think that uh, this money cannot be paid back. That's my opinion. The amount is very big for us. They should cut... Uh, at least to a 30% that uh, they are telling us. I don't know. So what of the unthinkable? A Greek exit, temporary or otherwise? Five years of a temporary currency, Middle East refugees flooding the islands without European support, wheeling and dealing with Moscow, waves of property speculation coming from the Gulf states and beyond. It's all speculation. But who wants to be responsible for opening that little Pandora's box? Now, the pain is here in Greece, but the agony is in Berlin and Brussels, at the heart of this European dream.